Do you ever feel like life is really hard? Maybe you feel like you're in a tough situation and you don't know how to get out of it. Or maybe people are being mean to you, either in person or online, and it's making you feel horrible. It can feel like you're a ball that's completely deflated, and instead of bouncing back up, you just go splat on the ground and can't get back up. Well, I have some good news for you. There's something called resilience that can help you be strong and keep going even when things are tough. Let's talk about it. Resiliency is getting back up as many times as it takes to do what's right. It's like a superpower that helps you bounce back from failures, attacks, or obstacles. Doing what is right, developing your gifts, caring for others, and following your dreams are all difficult to accomplish. These are all big goals that will require the ability to face challenges and difficulties while still staying on the path ahead. Let's check out the honey badger. They aren't very big, and it may sound like a sweet little animal, but it's not an animal you'd want to mess with. They live in deserts and other really difficult places to survive. They live in places with lots of other dangerous predators that they have to compete with. Lions, leopards, hyenas, snakes, jackals, and so much more. They can lose out on the animals that they want to hunt because other predators are bigger, faster, and stronger. But they've been able to thrive in forests and deserts because they are resilient. And they'll eat almost anything they can find. They've been seen catching and eating snakes, turtles, foxes, and even crocodiles. But they also show resilience when they're attacked by other animals and still bounce back. You'd think that large predators would be able to kill and eat them, but they have some of the thickest, toughest, rubbery skin that makes it hard for teeth to bite through. Even attacks from porcupine quills, arrows, and spears don't pierce their skin. And even though lions are the king of the jungle, even they struggle against the persistence of the honey badgers. Here's a time six lions tried to attack two honey badgers and they still lost. They are determined to keep going on even after being attacked. They're even able to take on venomous snakes. They're able to roll into a ball and expose only their tough skin, which is resistant to snake bites. In addition, honey badgers can also develop immunity to venom over time and they're known to regularly hunt venomous snakes. They've been watched as they let scorpions inject venom into their young so that they develop immunity to venom. And as adults, they're able to survive multiple bites from some of the most deadly snakes. Honey badgers are also able to bounce back and fight through really tough situations. They have really loose skin so that when they're in the jaws of another animal, they can twist and turn around to fight back to bounce back and survive. It's pretty amazing to see how they're designed by God to be so resilient. But how can we bounce back from attacks and tough situations when we don't have the tough skin of a honey badger? We have something greater. We have God with us, who never abandons his children. If you've decided to follow Jesus and accept his forgiveness, here's a promise you can hold on to. 2 Corinthians 4, 8, and 9 says, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we're not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Resiliency is an attitude that never gives up. No matter how many times you fail or how badly you feel things went, a resilient person doesn't stop until the goal has been accomplished. We shouldn't keep on doing things that are bad or wrong, but when there's something good that we should keep on doing, we need to keep asking God to give us the strength to do what's right without giving up. And just like a honey badger develops resistance to venomous animals through painful bites earlier in their life, sometimes God helps us to develop perseverance through difficult situations. James chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Tough times force us to either give up or ask God for help and develop our resilience. Resilience is kind of like a muscle that you can exercise and make stronger over time. So the more you practice being resilient, the better you'll be at handling tough times. Life is hard, but God doesn't want you to struggle through it alone. He wants to be your strength and your guide, 
And when you keep going to God in tough times, you'll become even more resilient than a honey badger. Don't give up on doing what's right as you keep fueling yourself with God's love and truth.